Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Blind Nuzlocke Shield version presented by Draco Breach, and yet another different opening. I cannot get it straight. Um, mm, probably should actually heal, but I'd like to see what's going on first, I suppose. Watch, be, watch this be a mistake. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Listen, Gabriel. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. That's rather interesting. Which is all well and good, but... Less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has, like, a hundred floors, right? Well, it is a skyscraper. You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Are they seriously throwing this at the end of the game and not even having any kind of lead up to it? Okay. All staff were ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Olean says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get up, get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. This makes no sense with the story up to this point, but I guess we'll see how this plays out. Okay. Um, bye, my little metal bug friend. What level was it? I, I went 48. Lower than Hop, higher than Marnie, I think. Actually, I think Marnie had a level 49 as her trump card. Having to give up my pocket money and losing means I'm back in the red. I'm tempted to get. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother with that. Once I actually start um, hunting in dens, I'll get plenty of money. M my bonus. I dream of finally affording a house of my own. We need to speak with the. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he. Oh, that's. I was. I didn't. I thought that was the um, someone else. But it's Hop. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the... Wow, that is a quick turnaround. Alright, we, we're nearly to Chairman Rose. Hold on, Lee, we're coming. Come on, Gabriel, let's crack on. Uh, heal? No. Heal? No. Um... Ah, uh, da, da 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 Okay, um... I don't... I'm not missing enough power points to worry about going back. And Wheelia can take a bit more damage, so... Uh, Wheelia's main fear is going to be fighting water... This is taking ages. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Oh, we're gonna get some double battles here. You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in Galar's League Gym Challenge. Yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsid subsidiary... Companies housed in here in Rose Tower. I mean, they're right. We're kind of trespassing, and we don't know that anything bad is going on. So, I mean, <laughs> this is this is weird. Behold, the glorious high-tech elevators of Rose Tower able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macro Cosmos Construction. What? I don't get what's going on. Oh, they, they work for uh, Marco Cosmos. Cosmo. Co cos whatever. 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't have a, I don't have a, a sheep, a, a dub wool. Hmm. Okay. Bronzong is either weak to fire or ground. Um. They're both okay. Bronzong is mainly a special attacker. Wilia actually does have decent special defense. Um, but Bronzong's primary purpose is to be bulky with high defense. I think it's defense. I, I'm pretty sure it's physical defense and not special defense. I'm going to start with Qfint because I don't know what its um, role would be. Body slam? Okay, that could paralyze. Speak of the special effect and it shall happen, apparently. There goes uh, Qfint. Bronzong is a bit of a worry because it is actually decently powerful and I haven't been paying attention to the levels because I'm silly. Extra sensory is not too too much of a concern. Uh, let's be perfectly honest. 48. So they're all going to be about the same level as um, Marnie. Okay. We'll know by how much damage this does. You have heat proof, so you are not... So you're weak to ground. Unless your defense is just that good. My guess is that it has heat proof. I could be wrong. I could very easily be wrong because I am doing this blind. <laughs> so I don't know what things have. I do want to look that up possibly um, later just because that is a curiosity. We've created an extraordinary lift that's safe even for a Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmo's construction when it comes to our de dedication to our work. Yeah, good on you for being dedicated to work, but... I, I'm, I'm confused by this whole series of events so far. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to res respectfully retreat. Yet I must one, uh, ask once more that you please do not interfere with champion... Cha I, I, oh, well. Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor on, that so that only the floor ascends. But that presents some danger. Thus, the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Marco Cosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Wait. So the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time. We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let's heal them up. Okay. I I knew a heal would have to come at some point. I I can't help but feel like I would like something similar to more similar to um Silfco or hmm, What other um, Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground, so we're halfway up. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have life, uh, life insurance policy? I will soon. <laughs> Can't afford one right now. I'm in Mawile. Okay, Mawile being very still. Ma Mega Mawile is a concern, regular Mawile is not. And that um, clank is not fully. I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's a clank. Oh, clang. It's clink, clang, clank? I can't remember. Um, I think clang is actually the bigger concern here. As much as I love Mawile, Mawile is one of my favorites. Um, it's not until it, it, it's really only as mega. Okay, how is double getting? I mean, that is two paralysis per for um, two attempts at it. Anyway, uh, Mega Mawile is amazing. Regular Mawile, 
Pokemon, as much as I love Mawile, isn't. The opposing Mawile used Head Iron Head. See, Mega Mawile would have done at least twice as much damage as that. And considering that it is... Uh, let's see... 14? Yeah, 14 levels lower. That's actually kind of scary. Now, Mawile is more of a sweeper. Doesn't really have much defense behind it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, Mawile is definitely one of my favorites. Nobody can beat MC and Shirts when it comes to our dedication to our work. The building's well over 500 feet tall. As tall as around 100 Machoke standing on top. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I don't see the relation there. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. I'm, yeah? I mean, that's not the point of insurance? Wait, did I just hear a, he a hear a heal sound? I'm pretty sure I just heard the sound of a potion going off. Which means that Hop probably healed us again. If I had known that these would have been double battles with just one Pokemon per trainer on the other side, I would not have Wheelia up front. I would have, I would be, um, oh, rats. You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty, oh, oh, uh, not construction, but air, Ma um, macrocosmos air. Wait, macrocosmos? MC Insurance, Mac... Oh, wow. Okay, true. Actually... Um... Hmm. Hmm. Wheelia is not resistant to rock. And is weak to ground. Okay. Hmm... What do we have here? They're both pretty, pretty powerful physical attackers. They're both weak to ice. You actually have very good physical defense. You're definitely faster than both of them. Jar is also quite powerful for with physical defense and can do quad damage to Steelix. Steelix is definitely more of a defensive Pokemon than an attacker. Um... They're both pretty defensive. With, um... Okay, Jar actually has the most advantage because it can do quad damage to Onyx and, to, um, and um, super effective uh, damage to... Um... <laughs> wow, I am... You love Body Slam. You're going to do pretty much nothing to Steelix. I am glad I got out of there because Muddy Water... Best ground. Um... Oh! Okay, critical. I was about to say, that does not seem like something that a Steelix would do. I'm going to actually go for Drain Punch on Steelix because... Oh, wait. Steelix is very physically defensive. So that actually might not do as much as I would like. But it does return some of my health. Oh, wow. Um, that's actually impressive. I mean, yeah, I, I know that I'm... 13 levels higher? Wait, was that bounce? Was that bounce? Um... That was bounce. My best bet is to go ahead and switch over to Lance a lot, and you turn out of there, because Lance a lot would resist. Jar will be weak too. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's not risk a super effective attack. Um, because Lancelot is going to be resistant... I'm sorry. Yeah, resistant to steel and... Um, let's see, immune to ground, resistant to steel, resistant to flying. Neutral to water. Yep, I am glad I got out of there because I do not want to risk... Like, even though I know that Jar could probably survive that. Um, you turn out to Amalga for super effective hits. Yes. Muddy Water, wait, Muddy Water is special. Bounce is physical, I think. Seriously? I don't understand what you're doing. Um, I want to be locked into Ice Fang, if anything. So, unfortunately... My first attack will miss. Well, there- oh, wow. Bounce can cause paralysis? I don't remember that being an effect. Well, Reversal will do double damage now. That Ice Fang was not as effective as I was hoping it would be. Probably should have expected that. Okay, my first level 63. Very even stat distribution there. Burn up. Oh, wow. That could be interesting, but I want to avoid moves that have that low PP for now, unless it's like really worth it. Burn up might be worth it though. Nobody can beat Macro Cosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You, you ever get the floaty feeling when the lift is going up? Not when a lift is going up, but when it is decelerating to a stop, yeah. Because you kind of have... Never mind. Uh, don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher uh, higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top, not just of, the, of this tower, but of all Galar. Looks as though we're, we're uh, nearly there, mate. Look sharp, let's do this. I still don't really get this, but eh... It's an end of the team matchup, end of the team, end of the game matchup, so... Oh look, it's her. Um... Really? Really. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the Earth. So, you got through all the special staff that I ordered to stop you. I'd expect nothing less of the traitors handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I am afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because, oh wow, what's with that expression? I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. You shall be the first, Gabriel. If I beat you to pieces, then the uh, champion will have no one to bat, no one to battle, and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman's. Why are we just suddenly Chairman Rose is a villain kind of weird thing going on here? Ghost Ice. Not terribly afraid of you. You are more of a special tank, if I remember correctly. I am 100% putting up a Stealth Rock. Hex? Okay, that is a special move, but it's not going to do as much... Yeah, okay, that's actually impressive. I was not expecting that much damage, but then again, I have forgotten... 
Rock Blast will be super effective and will potentially... Actually... Heat Crash will probably do more damage because I think Frost Slash is very light. So let's go with Heat Crash. I am glad I went with Heat Crash because it has higher accuracy. <laughs> um... Yeah, I was worried about that. Um, accuracy... Yeah, accuracy is 100, so... Okay, what is it down to now? I think it's in the 80s. I think the lowest it can go with six double teams is like... 60? I have to look at how evasion works. It's been a little while. Oh, and a crit. Oh my, oh my, how che cheeky to do such a thing to hurt your, my partner. Mil oh, I am getting you out of there. Uh, ice type, you know what? <laughs> ice type? Melodic is not ice type, melodic is water. Um, melodic is a, definitely a tank, but it is actually pretty decent on special attack. So I think tippy tap is my best option. Yeah, their levels are are going up nicely. So level 51 here. Freeze dry is my best bet. I think I actually have a pretty decent team. I was not expecting a one shot, even if it was 11 levels lower, because melodic has a lot of bulk. Salazzle, salazzle. Tippy tap actually might be pretty decent. Um. Fire. Amalga is going to be. Um, fire. Um, fire poison. Fire poison. It's a special attacker, if I remember correctly. Psychic has the... Psychic will do the most damage to it. Ice is weak to fire. Salazzle speed. Salazzle speed is the main thing. I think I might be faster than it if its level is what I think it is. And special defense is actually pretty high, so I can sur I can I think Tip Attack can survive a decent flamethrower. What are my other options? Amalga will be somewhat okay, the poison will be somewhat worrisome. But that special defense is actually pretty good. An Amalga... Ice Fang or Crunch would be decent. Crunch lowers defense. Ice Fang can cause flinch. Let's try this. I know that Salazzle is actually pretty fast. Its defenses are pretty low. It's more of a sweeper, I believe. Right, fire type is weak to rock. What? Oh my goodness, did I seriously just do that? <sighs> fire resists ice. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just... Fire resists ice. Rock slide would have been a better move to use there. Wheelia would have probably been a better bet. Serena. Serena's pure grass. Amalga is neutral. Wheelia is neutral. Bugs is strong. Actually, Tippy Tap would be pretty decent. But, uh, oops. 
Okay, sure. I... Try one nice fang. I can- I'm pretty sure I can survive a hit along with poison. Okay, didn't even need to worry. Probably- it probably had Queen's Majesty, which would have prevented a... Um... Priority move. Garbador. Pure... Okay, pure poison, physical attacker... Probably my best bet is Lancelot. I'll be immune to its strongest moves. This is my last Pokemon. Seriously, only in a, it's gotta finish this. Garboder. Um, I know it's a physical attacker. I'm gonna start off with Drill Pick. Pick? What am I gonna pick? I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. Oh, Giganta. Did she just say Garboder can Gigantamax? Oh my goodness, it can Gigantamax. Um. It's a physical attacker. I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Weak armor? That could be a not as much of a problem as I thought. Oh! Neutral. I'm neutral to this. Okay. <laughs> For a second I thought I was going to be weak to that. Okay, I'm neutral to that. And I don't take damage in a sandstorm. But you do. So, let's airstream. I don't know what, I actually don't know what airstream does. And I think this is actually the first time I've, I've uh... Dynamaxed Lancelot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've Dynamaxed Lancelot. Go on, Lancelot. Finish it. Seriously? You only needed to double your speed to be faster than Lancelot? That's actually a surprise. I'm pretty sure Garbodo is not supposed to be that fast. There we go. Pretty sure um, G-Max Pokemon have special moves, although with the uh, Poison type, it's probably Poison type moves. Kind of like how it's Electric type moves for um, Toxicity. Uh, I wasn't able to win. Leanna, you're, you really are a hopeless woman. She talks in third person like a child. Ah, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Typical Gabriel, you and Col Colossal are unstoppable. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. See, he, what are his goals? We know nothing about Rose. All we know is that he's been trying to gather wishing stars. He made a pretty bad decision by endorsing Bede. I mean, nothing has said, I am evil and you must stop me so far. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already. And, you, and still you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's, bit, that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is uh, one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this, this madness. It's to carry out the, that championship match. That's what Galar wants, and what I want. It's what we, uh, we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us. And know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a, a millennia... 
And by then, I'm sure other energy sources could be discovered. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just any one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years... Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give my word I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Yeah, nothing is screaming evil, we must stop him. Lee, you never showed when you were supposed to, so I got word that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all those Team Yell oddballs. <laughs> okay, fair point. <laughs> uh, they all helped us out to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. I kind of think you were, it's just that you weren't seeing the same necessity? I... I... <laughs> This this is this is a weird this is a weird plot point. <laughs> Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Gabriel. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose, and I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. I'm sure to be the one for the hit. I'm sure. It's sure to be one for the history books. I'm, I'm sure to be one for the history books. That would sound so, so arrogant. And not fitting at all. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no, I'm going to change the course of history. I mean, that's all well and good, but you, you kind of need to keep a level head. Kind of sounds like he might not. The next evening. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had butter, but but I've had butterflies, butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Gabriel, finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty room, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not like those other lake staff. I'm, I'm a good... I'm, I'm sorry, I just... There's no, nothing really bad that I've seen so far. I mean, come on. Uh, I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Olean. Miss Oleana can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you, uh, I mean, the worst that they were doing was keeping us from seeing Leon. I mean, and preventing us from intruding onto private property. I still don't see anything bad. <laughs> Uh, but you've no need to worry about uh, today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we uh, we trust her then. Yeah, Gabriel, let's go. I can't wait for wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to wait? No, because I'll get there on my own. Because this is the end of this episode. Oh my goodness. Understood. Come talk with me again if you need any help. Or use one of our flying taxis out front. Like I said, this will be it for today. Um, see you next time at Wyndon Stadium and the championship match. Chairman Rose interrupting things. The box legendary. Something, I'm sure. For the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels.